do we really gotta wait? Do we really need to wait? We don't need to wait. We need to start playing and start hanging out because holy shit, we are Dirt 5. New DLC dropped today and I am super excited about it. It's also my birthday. So we're gonna hang out. I'm gonna drink some coffee, drink some water, play this game and enjoy. Um, I also just finally fixed alert streams or alerts. So if there's any new followers, donations, subscribers, any of that shit, it'll actually show up on stream now. So I'm very happy about that. Thank you for joining. Um, our music today is brought to you by uh, um, Hunter Harris with the Stream Beats on Spotify. So that's what we're doing. That's how we're going to roll. Everything's back in order. Me, it looks good. Hopefully it sounds good. What we're going to focus on today is the new energy content uh, expansion pack DLC content thing that they put out today. Codemasters released this today for Dirt 5. And uh, here we are with one of the new cars, a Porsche uh, Taycan Turbo S, I think it's called. And it's it's freaking awesome. It sounds like an airliner trying to take off, but it's it's not jet fuel. It's all electric. It's over 700 horsepower, horse <laughs> as James from Donut Media would put. Uh, so yeah, over 700 horsepower, all-wheel drive, Porsche. That's definitely my favorite car in the game right now. It's super kick-ass. That's my little custom livery. Very simple. I went with uh, uh, gamer-type sponsors. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it looks cool. You know, kicker because they're they're gotta have kicker performance audio. You gotta have great sounding speakers. But I went with Codemasters, Logitech, and the, uh, XTE Energy brand. Let me take a hit off my water here, and we'll get to racing. Career. There's the energy. There's 25 races. I've already raced uh, two or three of them. Oh wait, I've done four of them. Okay, so I did that for a video that I was recording. So we have, what is that, 21 left. So we'll do that here in just a minute. Just sit back and relax and enjoy the music. Okay, um... Just triple check something real quick. So here is the... Uh, Test follow. There you go. So if you follow today, finally got it working. It was actually easier than I remembered. <laughs> so it didn't take long at all to get started. Speaking of getting started, let's do this. Uh, looks like we can choose X-Rate or pre-runners here. So since we have pre-runners, let's choose one of the new trucks we have. Um, let's see. Uh, no, that's not new. This is new. Chevrolet Silverado 1500 pre-runner rating B and B 420 base horsepower four-wheel drive of course thinks this thing is actually pretty damn cool so both of our choices for the new pre-runners are the uh, Silverado and the other one is the GMC Sierra pre-runner which I've seen several of these around Kansas City and I must say that's why I chose black because I always see them in black and they just look so damn cool if, if GMC ever wanted to ship me one I would definitely drive it I can't afford those. They're too damn expensive. Trucks are too damn expensive these days. Let's jump into it. Going to Italy. They're checking everything, making sure it works right. Let's uh, jump into it. I believe this thing has like eight or nine gears. A little slow to start. Be ninth or better after one lap. Can do. So it's a little slow to jump because, I mean, I'm in 7th gear at 70 miles an hour. So compared to some of the other free runners, this one's okay. 
I think where it's going to be successful is its top end speed. Jeez. It's just the AI. Push him out of the way. Rubbing his bracing. I'm not trying to make friends here, just trying to win the race. Get the hell out of the way. Oh shit. Oh, oh wow, there's a telephone pole there. Am I eighth? We're doing good. Actually, doing terrible. We're in very hard, by the way. This AI is on very hard. I always played on the hardest setting. Remember that little bump there on the apex? You gotta go around it. We're gonna go flying into the wall. What laps do we have? Three? Alright, that's good. Take this late apex turn. Alright, let's go, Chevy. We're gonna slow each other down going too wide into that chicane. So hopefully I can get through it. Oh, just landed on that guy. All right, sorry. We are what, fourth place? I can't even remember what is it up in front of me. Something here is kind of lagging and dropping frames, it looks like. No, just lag. Let's see, yeah, that looks fine. Turn this down just a hit. Let me know if my voice is barely peeking over the in game audio. That way uh, you can hear me clearly and I don't have to shout because that's not what I do here. Not shouting. <sighs> okay. Get him on the inside here. That was good. Play Apex here. T bone, that's great. side by side into the last corner trying to get hit in the first place I don't know how that's gonna that's gonna work or not come on Chevy let's go let my side into the chicanes all right we're up in second one more place to go one more position Catch him. We're gonna catch him, damn it. Oh, somebody just hit the wall there. Holy shit, I heard that. I am about two seconds behind this guy.
You know, if I wouldn't have hit that telephone pole right there on that first lap, I'd probably be in first place. All right, so I caught up a little bit, but we're on the home stretch here with the final three turns. Oh, no! What the fuck? Why? It just keeps making me slide into that brick wall. Oh, you prick. That was not what I wanted to happen. Every time I'd back up a little bit and gun it, I... I just kept sliding into that same stone slab that was real derpy. Alright, well that sucked. <laughs> but I'm in fifth place, I guess. Top five finish, not bad. Even though I should have got a second place finish. Yikes. Okay, uh, Ford Raptor, that's what it was. Just whole lobby's littered with four Raptors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at my busted ass. Damn, that concrete block fucked me up. Holy shit. Good still. Close that. Back up. Our right, next race. 90s rally in Greece. And with that, we will choose. We're either going to go Subaru or. You know what? Let's go Cosworth. And let's use the, the classic livery. One of the new liveries that was free for us to use in the game. Hell yes, I am using the classic livery on the Cosworth. I got things working today, that's nice. Oh, we're racing at night. This oh night and thunderstorm, huh? I don't want to race this track, but this is actually a really fun track. Out of the way. Third, doing bad. Oh wow, they're really pushing me into the wall there. Oh, what an overtake on the outside. Oh, I really, uh, really hit the curb on that one. Get the paint trading. Outside, but I lost a lot of time through there dropping two places. Holy moly. Really hard to see when it's this dark. And I really hate racing at night because my vision's so bad. Alright, so lap one is over with. In third place, so at least for a podium. Until I make a mistake. Which is bound to happen, I know. Holy oh, shit, shit, shit. Poop shit. Crap. Dude, Connor, earlier, whenever I was on your stream, and you were like, Mergidator! My daughter heard that, and I was wearing my headphones. She was like, what the heck was that? <laughs> Oh, but that was so awesome. Thank you. Brady ass nighttime shit. Can't see anything. Stay off the curb. Stay on the inside. Oh, a little double overtake. Don't mind if I do. That's a needle. Airpin. Hey. 
They don't even give a shit. They're just blowing up all these fireworks in the middle of the thunderstorm. That was just careless. You know how hard it would be to light fireworks in a thunderstorm like this? This is a gaggle of 90s rally cars. Look at this. Like six of us here. That's what they call them. They call them a gaggle of rally cars. I wish you could honk your horn like on uh, Horizon 4. Okay, come on. Let's go. They on the inside. Don't have that. It's too much on the inside. Holy shit. Alright. Got a Pidgeot. Pidgeot. Pidgeot ass out of my way. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't turn me around. Oh, I hit that curb again. It sent me flying. Almost into the shadow realm, but I avoided that. Hairpin. I slapped the uh, classic livery on this Cosworth. Hopefully it'll give me uh, five extra horses. Five extra herspers per sticker. So I can win these races. I'm just going to barrel it into the inside. Cosworth versus Cosworth. Fighting for first place as we enter the home stretch of the final lap. What's gonna happen? Well, Murganator Bennett. Looks like it's getting brighter outside, which is beneficial for me because it helps me see. Because I am a blind ass old man now. Awesome drifting out there. You're really hyping the crowds with those moves. You keep that up. <laughs> Pujo. It's a Peugeot. I don't know, man. That was an epic race. I'm really surprised. Look at my calling card, my, my title card there. Did you see that? It looks like a sixth grader's trapper keeper. Just slapped full of stickers. All right, let's move on. I got, hey, I got the three coins on that. We're going to uh, Chocolate Lake, which sounds like a Mario Kart track. And, um... What should we use now? Here's my livery that I made on this. I really like this. It gives me a 1970s vibe. Uh, I really like the color scheme on this, but I believe there's a classic livery for this. There is. Rambe. Here we go. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, it do. Alright. Racing at night once again, so that's gonna suck. Is this just the oval? If this is the oval, then. This will be simple. It's not just the oval, okay. But sometimes the ice race at night is really tricky to the eyes. I think, if I remember right, I, the teal lights are the inside for the apex, and the purple lights are the outside. I don't know if anybody's noticed that, but purple lights are the outside of the next turn, and the teal lights will be the inside, just to help guide you, because it can be tr trickery, all this tomfoolery, all those whatsabouts. Connor, while you're in here, how's the sound, man? Is the audio level with my microphone? Kind of have the game cranked so I can enjoy the uh, car sounds. Yeah, I noticed that when I was finishing the regular campaign that the, the teal lights are the inside of the track, while the purple lights are the outside of the, of the turn. Sorry, not track, but turn. Some. Oh, why are you gonna turn into me like that, man? What are we in a 
Forza lobby here. Can't, can't just accept the fact that I took your ass on that turn, huh? Uh-oh. Hey, now. Got the turbo boosters. Hot damn. I'm just gonna Ken block it around here. They completely keep shit sideways on the turn. That way it confuses them. They don't know where I'm going. All this ice Hana Merginator edition. Get off my ass. Yeet. Fucking yeet around that. Holy shit. Where are you? There you are. Okay. A couple more turns, and we are off the ice. And we are Golden Grams. Yee-hee! <laughs> In the Dirt 5 AI lobby. Look at all those DNFs. Slow asses. AJ, I already have a profile. I beat the game. I already know. Did you ever do the conclusive uh, ending for the campaign on that? It was kind of... Uh, it was kind of... Like, they kind of built up to it with the podcasts, the donut podcasts, and some guy randomly showing up and talking shit, but he was just super easy. Whoa, looks like we got some new stuff here. We got the pre-runners. Wheel spin, dust bowl. Um, I see a dinosaur. Metal Scrapyard Junkyard Dinosaur. That's going to be awesome. Okay, good. There's some Christmas content. New York Rally GT. Okay, yeah. Free runner time. Let's go with the GMC Sierra. Yeah, have we unlocked anything yet? Nope, that's fine. We will soon enough. Stegosaurus Rex. <laughs> what do we got here? What the hell is this? <laughs> is this a Gymkhana? Is this like an in-game uh, playground? Whoa, okay. Neat. Are there laps? What am I supposed to do? I think I just gotta complete the course like it's a regular ass. Uh, where am I going? Holy shit, that was neat. Like it's a playground. This is a cool little track. Who made this? Very creative. Hey, Stego. Alright, that part was a little confusing. I almost hit the e-brake and went somewhere else, but I'm glad I stuck with the line I did. Go up the ramp, and I think that might maybe the finish. Whoa, it didn't, didn't, uh, almost didn't complete that. No, that's not the finish. How much more do we have to go, man? Oh, hello. Going this way now. Holy shit. This is great. Oh! Oh, 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 wow. Is that the finish? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I didn't get the three stamps. Did not, did not get the three stamps, but that was pretty good. A couple of spots I would have changed up on there, but you know, you can always come to me or Connor or Technical for all of your playground needs and tips. Now, what do we got here? Another this '90s or '80s? I think I'll stick with '80s because it sounds like a good idea. Um, I just used the Cosworth. I just used the RS200. Let's go Subaru. Because Subaru is the shit. I'm going to slap this livery on it. Take a sip off my... I got a Sea Salt Caramelicious Scooters Coffee because I love scooters. You know what sucks though? I missed 
the retro GT race yesterday. I forgot to sign in. So I missed the race. But I have this badass Mercury Cougar just waiting for me to drive it in the DOR Retro GT series. So this Sunday will be my debut. I missed the first three tracks. Because the first race was on the Super Bowl of all the days. And the second race was on Valentine's Day. So whoever scheduled those, try not to do that next year, okay? <laughs> And then this past Sunday, on the, what would that be? Yesterday, the 21st? That was just my bad. And look at the Subaru just eating the AI alive. This very hard AI just does not stand a chance. This is actually one of my favorite tracks in the game. I just like the free flow and the turns and everything of this track, especially when it's wet. It feels, it's a good track, it's just fun. You know, that's, I think that's a video I always intended on making, but never did. Like my top five favorite courses on this game. I should do that, because this would definitely be on there. See, I'm trying to think of one, another one off the top of my head. Uh, there's another track that sticks out. Uh, I can't remember where it's at, though. I, I want to say Brazil. It's not the Redeemer Uphill or Downhills, because that one's kind of meh. It's a damn good track. Yeah, bet. <laughs> Thank you. Taking the pink and purple yellow Subaru. Off for a cruise. Gonna get some Chinese food after this race. Yeah. Every race so far has been just cloudy, rainy, and dark. And right when I say that, the sun comes out. What the shit? <laughs> that name is the greatest of all time. Meow bitch 069. Meow bitch. Meow bitch is a super fan. Yo, this lap is a lot slower. Need one more drift and I get all my there you go. Like I say, either way, I was gonna get it. And once again, the Subaru proves that it's just the king of fucking rally. You can't stop the king, baby. Look at this thing. Why well, I, I want one in real life. I need two of them. One for me, one for my wife. We can race to the grocery store. Look at that. Perfect. Why is everyone getting Chinese food today except me? I heard you say that on your stream. I thought that was funny. But I'm actually not getting Chinese food. I just made that joke because I was racing in China. I figured we get the W, celebrate on the podium. We'll get some authentic Chinese food. But that's not happening. We're going to a really icy New York race. And I'm going to hop in. One of my favorite new cars in the game. Okay, here's the Alpine A110 Sports X. This thing is pretty damn fun to drive, but it pales in comparison to the Porsche Taycan Turbo S, and you'll find out in just a minute. Look at the torque. Look at the torque on that. 1050. Holy shit. The, the, the horsepower, 761. All wheel drive with my custom little livery on there. Um, yeah, it's, it's the shit. Delivery's okay, but once I rank up the car, I will be using the energy livery. But for now, we're going to use my, my gaming livery. It has Logitech, Codemasters, and the XTE Energy brands on there. As well as Kicker Audio, because Kicker Audio makes damn good equipment. Your audio needs. Alright, let's fuck this up. And I mean that in a good way. That just said Illis with the Nurburgring on there. Could you imagine Dirt 5 Nurburgring? Oh, this is just the oval. We're going NASCAR, go boys. No cracky today. Oh, this is going to be easy mode. Okay, 
It's Christmas time in the city. That could be an Easter egg. Because there's, unless there's a brand that just has the Nurburgring logo associated with it, Illist. But holy shit, Nurburgring is one of my favorite tracks. Uh, just the GP, Grand Prix. But the entire Nordschleife circuit, I could not imagine taking these Dirt 5 cars around that track. That'd be so much fun. The damn buildings are wrapped like presents. Look at that. <laughs> Big ass bows. I feel sorry for those people in those offices, though. They're like, okay, Chuck, Bill, entire sales team is going to be in complete darkness for the next month and a half. Merry Christmas. No natural lighting for you. <laughs> oh, this car just sounds like a freaking vacuum cleaner on steroids. A vacuum cleaner that smoked crack and just went to the gym, or did some steroids too, and just got jacked. And then on the way home after the workout, got a whole thing of like Red Bull. Look at the power. Insane power. And it's just so easy to drive. It's just insane. That's, that car is just too easy to drive. It slaps the shit out of everything on ice. Look at that. All those DNFs. I just DNF the entire freaking grid. Hey, I got a new lanyard. Sweet. Okay, um... Yeah, AJ doesn't have any comprehension that I've already beat the game and I've already proven myself. Fuck off, AJ. Oh man, we're gonna beat this today. Let's just beat this whole damn thing today. Why don't we? I've only been playing for 30 some minutes. All right, so uh, I'm gonna basically use I'm gonna basically use the DLC trucks anytime I get a chance to. I like the Sierra more than the Silverado. Sorry, Chevrolet. And I know they're all under the same kind of brand, but the Sierra, to me, just feels better than the Silverado. Sorry, Silverado. Which is a B and a B. The Silverado is a C and an A. I think I honestly think that the performance is actually better on the Sierra, though. Uh, they both have the same amount of power and torque. I mean, it's it's pretty much literally the same fucking truck because their GMC is makes to, uh, Chevys. You know, so it's pretty much the same damn truck. But I like the GMC better. I'm not saying I'm, it's going to happen, but I'm going to try to beat all of the races on this one sitting. And then I'll share it on YouTube. Just because. <laughs> Alright. Oh, another night race, boys. How many laps? Three? I don't even know where the hell we are. Are we Italy? Oh, yeah. So the Sierra and the Silverado, like I said, they're pretty much the same damn thing. Oh, I've never raced this track at night. Who the hell thought this was a good idea? Damn you, Codemasters! This track is tricky. This track is tricky in this in the daylight. I'm just gonna sneak in. Don't worry about me. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, bucko. Hairpins. I'm just gonna go through the rocks. Oh shit! I didn't realize that the rocks were that big. That just sent me into Nopeville. Population me. Holy shit. Okay, so we're gonna get. We're not gonna restart. We're gonna just try to catch up. And try to catch up against the very hard AI. And if I can catch up and win, that'd be something to brag about. That'd be something to really, really put on my resume for Hardcore Gamer of the Year. You hear that? Super GT, I'm coming for your, your status and your titles. If 
the racing games. Oh shit, we got thunder and lightning now. What's another high profile YouTuber? Uh, Don Juan song? Hmm? Coming for your elite status. There's another one. I'm spacing really hard. I mean, we have like shiny odd and black panther and stuff but they're kind of in a different tier of racing content creators or i'm more of a serious race driver i only play the serious true racing sims and if you don't think dirt 5 is not a true racing sim then you are just my goodness Big ass truck around. <laughs> okay, didn't die. Didn't go into the shadow realm that time. Ah ha ha! Take that. Where am I? Seventh place. All right, we're not doing bad. Not doing bad at all. Let me just squeeze my. God damn it! Oh oh wow wow. Okay. <laughs> they kind of helped me out there. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with that BS. Was that from my uh, true sim racing snobbiness? <laughs> Come on. Power up the hill. I know you can do it. You're a GMC truck, for God's sakes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. See that torque? I was just climbing that hill. I was eating them alive. One more lap will do you another two minutes or so. No, they're totally, they're totally full race sims. I am in a complete cockpit situation right now with full uh, vibrations and uh, the hydraulic lifts that make the, the thing tilt. You don't even... I'm in, actually in a real car right now. This is all portrayed through VR for your entertainment. I'm doing this in real life. When I hit that rock, I actually got sent to hell and had to respawn back. And holy shit, I just slid into first. boys yeah I told you didn't have to restart I shouldn't talk shit yet because uh, the race is far from over the chickens haven't hatched yet damn it the potatoes are not yet mashed we cannot begin to celebrate until we are past that finish line Yeah, I went to hell, but they kind of owed me, so I was able to respawn real quick. And we have a win. That was a solid W, because that was a hell of a... I almost said reach around. <laughs> that wouldn't have been the right word. That was a hell of a comeback. Considering I was... Five seconds off of the guy in 11th place. The AT4 is redemption personified, my friends. Off-roading. Capable. You can even put all your groceries in the back seat. And pick up some drywall on the way home. You can pick up the kids from soccer practice and still win a race. Alright, where the hell are we going now? This is super light or unlimited? Let's stick with the super lights. We're going to go with a, oh my god, I'm on drugs livery. Look at this. Holy shit. Let's do that. You know, I'm not going to lie either. I, I didn't think I was going to get first place. <laughs> that was a damn good run. There was a couple of spots they left open for me. I was able to dive into. And that hill climb catching up and making like six positions, that was huge. All right, we are in Norway, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are in the, oh, trading paint. You know, I can do that. You know, I'd say if this is the right 
iteration of the track, I'd say this is one of my top five favorite tracks too. One of the Norway tracks is, is really good. I haven't driven this Baja bug in a while. Wow, I just drove over the top of that Volkswagen. It's not going to the trees. Oh, slam on the brakes. Slam on the brakes. That was actually pretty tasty. That was a tasty turn. Oh, whoa, dude, you're going to turn me sideways, bud. Oh, this is the one with a really, really hot, harsh chicane. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I went too, way too hard into that. Yikes. Yikesville population. Hey, there's the Aurora Borealis. Okay, nope, this is not the right iteration. Oh, no! I'm getting scooped like I'm cat shit. Get off me. Okay, so I, uh, I like the tiny little goofball cars. This is a good track, but it's not the iteration I was thinking of. Holy shit, I just went Super Saiyan on them. What happened there? Everyone hit the brakes and I was just still going full of balls. Come on, let's go. Hey oh Now I can't see shit. Old man eyes. Alright, I'll take this like ass like I did last time. Oh, oh, I did. I did anyway, it's just a different type of ass. Different style of ass, eh? Now the little uh bullshit car just passed me again. I'm gonna eat around him real quick on the inside. Yep, there we go. Exactly what I wanted. Quit pushing me, you douche. Alright, there we go. Nice little turn again on the home stretch for this lap. Going cross site from all those signs, walls, and lights. Jeez. All right, one more lap to go. That's what we got here. Make no mistakes, I should stay out ahead and win this relatively easily, but knowing my luck, I'll just slide right into a wall, make things interesting. Or hold the throttle down and do a 360, one or two. Oh, okay, that was close. Counter steer, and there we go. Holy shit, there's a lot of chat going on. I'm not even paying attention. Sorry, guys, what do we got going on over here? We got some emojis from Meow Batch. Looks like we have PTG, PTG Jamie in the house. Thank you for the happy birthday. And uh, I'm doing good. Hanging out, drinking some coffee, playing some video games. much exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Drink some good coffee. Get this little shithead off me. Wow, he passed me at the last second. You mother... Okay, anyway, so... Five left over the crest. Hey, now. <laughs> oh, man. Thank, thank you for the happy birthdays, though. This is good. Just relaxing, drinking my drinks, playing some video games. I didn't even see that little shithead sneak up on me like that. It came out of nowhere. I'm sitting here reading chat. Just flew up from behind. That was my own fault. Why you only read chat in between races? Never text and drive, damn it. What level are you now? Uh, in real life, I'm level 36. I just hit 36 today. In the game, I hit 60. He did get me. 
the little little rat ass car just got me got right around me. All right, so we got nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen more races. We'll smack the shit out of. Well, let's do classic rally, only because I want to use the Porsche nine two four with a calm livery. Because that was really neat to be a part of that. And uh, I'm going to keep supporting it because it was a damn good cause. Brazil. Nemesis has entered the chat. What's up, man? This actually might be the one of the maps I was thinking of. Yes. Yes, it is. I fucking love this map. Oh shit. Don't go into the rocks. The sun completely in my eyes. Going through the favelas. Get the shit out of my way. You can't beat me. I've already had like the world first time on this track. I can't remember what truck it was. But that was a... Uh, that was a sweaty hot lap session. Well, it was a world first on the on the Steam leaderboard, anyways. I don't know about the consoles. Console boys probably beat me. And we're gonna jump. There you go. Yeah, this is one of my favorite tracks on here. I don't know what it is about it. It has a little bit of everything tight twisty bits, it has wide open turns, it has a couple of good jumps. It's more or less about a minute and 20 seconds long, I mean it's not, it just has it all. Going back down the hill. This is a very fast and fun section, especially when it's wet like this. Just yank the e-brake and kind of just hug that apex right there. That was perfect. I couldn't have gone any more, uh, any better. This part is a little sketchy. Holy shit. You can take that turn very wide, too. It's one of those where... You just fly off the track a little bit. You can't go too far, though, or else it will reset you. But look how you can see the AI trucks flying over me. That's how far ahead I am. Beautiful sun coming up, it looks like. Pretty sure I'm pissing off all the people that live along this mountain line. Driving really fast and angry through their whole neighborhood. There's people out there celebrating and throwing streamers, but I'm pretty sure there's also people throwing eggs. Telling me to shut the hell up and I'm being too loud. <laughs> oh, see? That wasn't a smooth butter right there. I hit the, hit the inside of that rock. But I didn't take out any of those safety cones, which is a plus. Oh shit. Okay, that was okay, actually. I thought I was gonna fly off. And boom. That's it. So, Vesuvia, Connor, 07. Playing some Skate 3. Skate 3, is that good? Is that game good? Really I have not played that. Connor, make sure you come back, damn it. You gotta come back. 
not beat this game without you guys. You gotta be, you gotta watch. If I, if I don't have any buddy watching, then did I actually beat it? <laughs> oh shit, Pathfinder time. Now, this shit is goofy. The mud claw is crazy. And one of the things I like to do is have a no breaking challenge. And damn it, that's what we're going to do right now. Absolutely full throttle, no breaks. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Let's go, damn it. Seriously, I can't even use the E brake. I don't care where my truck is going. I got to just try to correct it. Full throttle. Ain't nothing any of us can do about it. All right, let's bounce off the wall. We're okay. We're okay. Go up the butt crack. Go up the butt crack. Got to turn left. Oh, shit. Yep, follow the rocks. Follow the yellow brick road. Okay, turn, goddammit. Okay. Keep turning. Oh, shit, that just yeeted me to space. Okay, we're gonna have a full reset here. That's okay. Let's see if we can still get some coins here, though, boys. Get past the Pepsi and Fat Lace banners. Oh, shit, don't fly off. Full throttle. All day. Oh, we've got a hill climb section. Going up. All right, so far, so good. We've only had one mistake. Oh, shit. That was... Fall that was... What is that, like, the Buzz Lightyear thing that's crashing with style? I think I'm going the wrong way now. Oh, shit. There we go. To Narnia. Wow, what's going on? <laughs> okay, we got to reset. Which is okay, because we were going to, uh... Wizard of Oz there. hi -ya. We're about halfway there, though. Oh, shit. I turned in way too early. Okay, at this point, I have to let off, reverse, and then go. Or else I'd just be humping the wall there for the rest of my life. Or until I run out of gas. There's a big inflatable truck. Going downhill. Extra fast. Extra spicy. Going up the hill. Still going spicy. The spicy speeds. Shit. Still going uphill, apparently. <laughs> okay, it reset me because I was uh, just going to climb the entire mountain. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> bum, bum, ba, da, that was great. I was down in the gully. And, wow. I beat the three stamp time by like 25 seconds still. <laughs> Full throttle's the way to go, damn it! I'm telling you, you have to go full throttle with the mud claw. I didn't finish in reverse, but no one gives a shit about that. Oh, that was fun. Now we're going to do modern rally in South Africa. Let's see here. We do the Ford Fiesta. Yeah, let's do that. We'll go to. I don't like this livery. What do we have here? Didn't rank up enough. Got to rank up Michelin. Meh. I got to rank up Illust for this. Damn it. Okay. The delivery I made kind of sucks. But we're going to use it anyways. And reminder, we're using the uh, the stream beats. We're using the stream beats playlist to have our little lo-fi in the background. I want to advertise that stream beats is actually awesome. You don't get charged with DMCA's, no copyright infringements, no nothing. And so I'm a big fan of what they have, what they use, and what they're all about. They actually just released a rock album too, which is which is pretty decent. It's uh, below my standards in terms of rock and metal. But uh, I really, really like the Stream Beats uh, synth wave and the Lo-Fi playlist. And uh, that's what I'm on right now is the Lo-Fi playlist. Now let's get back to it. We are in South Africa in the Ford Fiesta at nighttime because apparently this entire energy content pack is in the dark. I don't even remember what this layout is. I'm probably going to die. Everyone hit the brakes. Except for me! I promise you, this is on very hard. 
Just sometimes the AI makes a weird choice and I benefit off of it fully. And there's nothing I can do about it. Man. Oh, okay, I remember this layout. I'm just used to going the other way. If I remember right, this is pretty technical. But I believe this iteration is mostly downhill, which is okay with me. Go this way, see what happens. Dude, that was pretty fucking elite right there, you gotta admit. That was a sweet turn. On the pavement, just temporarily. such a tight turn going that fast downhill. Holy God. I couldn't imagine doing this in like a... I mean, these, these tracks would, would be just intense in a rally car, you know? I know the, I know these are fake tracks and all. But hell, even just the real rally tracks. I could be in the Geo Metro just shitting my pants the entire time, just going like 55 mile an hour. <laughs> Some of these pros doing 80, 90, 100, plus 100 flying over the hills and stuff, that is just that shit. That takes a special type of balls. Special type of professionalism and driving. Seriously, you can give me a really slow car and I would just be shaking from adrenaline. And that's it. That's the race. That was pretty good, actually. I made one slight mistake, but it wasn't too bad. Redeemed highlight my mess. <laughs> that's the what face. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's Stream Beats. It should be all one word, but it's made by uh, Hunter Harris, I believe his name is. He actually has a YouTube channel full of good tips and tricks for YouTube and, and streaming and shit. Kind of over my head with some of the shit he talks about. My stuff's pretty low production in comparison, but that's a tight ass emoji right there. What is that? The glitch, glitch cat? I'm gonna call him the fucking bitchin' cat because that's a fucking badass cat right there. All right, so pre runners, we are going to go back into the GMC because it is obviously the better of the two. Actually, you know what? Let's use no screw it. New DLC, new new vehicles only. <laughs> using all the cool cats there. Yeah, batch. I can't even say your name and look without having that accent. Yeah, batch. Alright. I think this is... Part of the last ten races. So this DLC is actually pretty quick to get through unless you're trying to 100% all of the challenges, which I never try to do. I just try to have fun and race the races. If I get one coin, then that's good enough for me. What the fuck was that? Because some of the challenges they have are just kind of, uh, not fun. <laughs> like some of them... Like fin the finish in reverse, that's fine if you're if you're way ahead, but if you're just barely winning, you don't want to just spin and throw it in reverse. It's not going to work. You guys are kind of eating me alive here. It's a close race, though. We're all just right up each other's asses. Any mistake, you're gonna lose all your positions. The hairpin on the inside, the seam's gonna bounce off the wall. Kind of predicted that. I actually benefit from that. I've jumped up a couple spots. I'm in fourth place. Looks like the guy in third is in one of the newer Chevy Silverados. I passed him on the inside. Bounced off him just a little bit, but that's okay. No, no, wait, that's not the Silverado, that's the Colorado. Oh, those two make contact. 
is really hard to drift in this big ass truck. It really is. This is like three tons of metal trying to kick it sideways. It's doable, but it's not easy. Oh, he's into the wall. They connect, and this gives me a chance to get caught up. Through you, hippie. I'm in second place now. And this is where the little challenges are not worth it because me con trying to concentrate on drifting was just slowing me down and there's no real benefit to it i want to catch up and win w winning the races is far more important 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 <laughs> My muddy boy. Oh shit, he was right behind me. <laughs> that was a pretty good race. Rapper Keeper card that I have going on there. I should be trying to get my rep up on the other stuff. But I guess we do have max rep on that, that, leveling up donuts, so I'm pretty close to that. What are the new ones? I think this was a new one. Excite energy. I believe Pit Viper was a new one. Could be wrong. Oops. Back in there. Oh, yeah, and throwdowns. These are back. Wasn't a big fan of the throwdowns from the main game. But we may do these on a separate stream. Right now, I'm just concentrating. We're, we've got nine races left. Going to Morocco. We have either Classic Rally or Unlimited. Fan of Unlimited at all, at all actually. Stick with the... Go with the Mustang, just because... Mustang. And we're going to go with the American livery because fucking America. <sighs> this would definitely qualify as one of my favorite tracks, too. Did a damn good job with this track. Probably wondering what the hell did I pick the classic Mustang for? That's not a rally car. Well, it's in the game, so I used it. <laughs> Definitely not my favorite, but it gives me a challenge. It's kind of a bitch to drive. Push each other wide, then those two hit each other. Just flapping all over the place. I'm right on their bumper. Trying to get around. They're going three wide into the river. This asshole runs into me. Oh, off the rocks. I'm into this other Mustang. Got this uh, Lancia Stratos. I'm. Wow, I'm, all, I'm back in 10th place. Jeez. That was kind of a lunge. Now I'm in 8th. Fiat right in front of me, little bastard. But that thing has such a short little base, it's grippy as hell. Very wild car for how lightweight it is. Like that one challenge right there where it says exceed 70 miles per hour for 15 seconds. 
that's almost impossible to do considering how technical the track is. Some of these challenges are just not thought out very well. I think you can change them, but I also think it costs you to change them. It just doesn't work out. That's why I don't really pay attention to them. Is it raining now? Has it been raining this whole time? I have never noticed it. Ay -ay -ay. Come on, I gotta get caught up here. That's a top five finish right there. Rain has stopped. Either it's getting even cloudier. Yep, it's getting cloudier. Oh my god. Shit. Get off me, dude. Alright, there we go. Up into seven. One more lap to go. Oh my god, he's running my ass. This little European car is just so fast compared to my little my big Mustang. Not get away from him. I got these two up ahead. There might be F's in the chat. Catch up to them. Thunder. When it roars, put your ass indoors. Don't drive big rough buckets. Don't through the river. Don't hit any rocks. Yeah, this Mustang just cannot compete. My driving is not bad at all. I just, it's, this car is just not competitive. Hey, there's a rainbow in the back. Like a rainbow in the dark. Barney James Dio would be proud. Fuck off, Fiat. Get off my ass. Nope. It's off. There you go. <laughs> Went by really well, actually. Sharing this stream on Twitter real quick. All right, let's do this. We were down to eight races left. Yes, yes. We back to the pre-runners. I will be back into the GMC. Stampede, stampede race in Italy. It's rainy again. Holy shit. Oh, no, it's snow. Let's do it. So, I think this is pretty much the same race as earlier, just in a going the different way and with snow. I think it's the same layout. As we all know, the snow is a little bit more slidey, a little bit more slick than the rain and mud. Sometimes. Uh, 
that apex is so much better going down than it is going up. Hill climb is where this truck is actually really good. So honestly, the launch is not the best. It's actually one of the worst in the game compared to all these. a lot of time in there, but then I gained a lot on that right-hander. Holy shit, we're finally breaking over 100 miles an hour. And I am on podium now. Holy shit. That was pretty wicked. You see that? Did you guys see that? Lightning? That's pretty badass. And we're gonna just swoop in, hop in first place. That was really aggressive, but honestly, I don't give a shit. I want to win this race. It's kind of weird how every single race is dark or has thunder and lightning in it. No matter if it's raining or snowing. Yeah, well, most of the races in the Energy Content DLC has some extreme weather involved. Damn, that, this... GMC just struggles right there while the Ford Raptor eats it up. Come on, baby. Final lap. I don't know if I'm going to be able to be, be able to beat these Ford Raptors or not. leave room on the outside there of why I took the outside, but it kind of disappeared, so I took the apex, which is okay for me. I think I may have misspoke earlier. Those Ford Raptors really uh, are good at the hill climb compared to the GMC. Maybe a gearing issue or what? Maybe they're lighter in weight? I don't know, but... Those still may be the ultimate Ford... Or not... <laughs> I meant to say ultimate off-road truck. happening again now he's rubbing against me which is going to slow me down even more oh that guy just took off Let's see if i can hit this just perfectly and get my spot back 
This is a good race right here. Let's see what's gonna happen. Come on. I'm gonna land this jump perfectly. Oh! Get off me! He went right in front of me with that. That was close. But second place, I'll take it. Those Raptors are a pain, man. They're, they're good. The Aston Martin DBX is also another good one. But they put me in... Uh, in a tough spot there, especially when he, when he landed, he went to the left and got right in front of me. All right, so we have the sprint or the super light. Looks like we're doing an ice race, so we can either use this the Jupiter, which I'm not in the mood for to be honest. So we'll use a super light. That is almost your actual truck. What do you drive? Because the. Uh, I've seen a lot of those GMC Sierras, those new ones out in Kansas City, and they're 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 actually really nice. I'm gonna use this little bugger. Yours is more of a princess truck, though. <laughs> How so? You gotta you gotta you gotta explain on that. Whoa, that looked like some sort of Mario Kart animation happening here. I like it. That's what we're going with. <clears throat> Heavy Silverado High Country. How the hell is that a princess truck? I'd have to look it up. I don't know what the high country looks off the top of my head. We're going with the uh, high RPM board. Oval race, seven laps. Like Mario Kart. Dude, that truck sounds badass. <laughs> I drive the hell out of that. I love white trucks. I think they're clean. And if I buy a truck, it has to be crew cab. That way the whole fan can fit it on the inside. Does it have the uh, regular bed or is it the extended bed? Or the shortened bed. I know some of them have the short beds too that are only like four feet long. Maybe four and a half. I'm all over the place. This little ankle biter of a car is just kicking ass. That is the regular one, I think. Nice. Do you have, uh, like, motocross motorcycles, or do you have actual, like, the uh, street cruisers? TV feels stable, but one wrong move and your ass is tipped over with that big ass thing laying on top of you. <laughs> I've done that before. Luckily, the thing went over me instead of on top of me. And there was this one time I thought I saw a bear and it was just a goddamn pig. And I gunned the throttle and it dumped me on the ground. 
hit the throttle, didn't lean forward, and it just popped a huge wheelie, and it just I landed on my ass in the middle of the street. <laughs> and I thought it was a bear. It wasn't a bear. It was just a damn pig. That's when I realized I needed glasses. <laughs> Yamaha TX6. Yeah, you're riding time in Wisconsin's probably like a couple weeks out of the year, I'm sure. Okay, so we are in the Rally Cross or the Rally GT. So, of course, since we have the Rally GT option, we'll go with it because the DLC cars are amazing. Now, I want to go with the Porsche because it's just flipping amazing, but I haven't used the Alpine yet, so I will use the Alpine. And I'll go ahead and use one of the liveries that came come stock with it. So this is rear wheel drive. Picking the Porsche was probably going to be a smarter choice with the ice race that I'm about to have. I may be getting my ass kicked on this. But the Alpine is lightweight, fast, and we'll see. This, this is a very short technical track. Ay, 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 ay. Hell off me! snap oversteer too if you try to correct it and gun the throttle it gets any bit of grip it snaps it's like using sim steering on Forza Motorsport 7 I'm trying to manage my throttle here I'm not just completely oh see short wheelbase Mustang beats me on the ice, we have problems. So I'm not doing something right. <laughs> Get off me. Luckily, there's only three laps of this because I can only stand so much ice racing. Oh shit! This damn oversteer. That was a little handbrake action there. That a challenge of exceed 60 miles an hour for five seconds is just freaking impossible on here. Come on, Mustang, what are you doing that for? Alright, we got one more turn. Let's see if I can hold him off. Get off me. Get off me. Wow, that was good. That was lucky. That was just freaking lucky. Okay, um... That went well, actually. <laughs> that went pretty well. We are down to the final five events. And one of them is Gymkhana, which I am complete shit at. But it's a Rally GT, and we will go with the Porsche. Not that I have shown off the capabilities of the Alpine. I will stick with the Porsche now. We are about 90 minutes into the stream, but we're almost done. After these five races, we'll be over. I'll be done with the stream. I'll spend some time with my baby. And uh, my wife got me something pretty fucking badass for my birthday, so I'll be playing with that. <laughs> oh man, I'm a joke with this shit. Okay.
right, that was a pretty decent drift. Hey, there's a dinosaur. Oh! I should be able to nail this bigger drift. Perfect, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Now where can I exit out at? Where's my exit? Is that it? Okay. I do a jump. Eat the jump. Did I get the three stamps? Because if I did, that's a rarity. Holy shit, I did. Wow. You just witnessed me actually doing decent out of Gymkhana. <laughs> that never happens. Alright, four to go. We're going to Stampede. Um, which car should I choose? I may pick the Mini Cooper. You know, I'm going to change that livery because it's horrid. Uh, maybe not. Laughite is actually really good. I'm going to go with the, uh, with this, I think. I never race it. Codemaster's livery. We'll use we'll use that one. Alright, this is the fourth race that's left. Three more after that, and we will we'll finish up. The Dirt Off Road series really looking to bring heavy snow in Butt, Arizona. <laughs> big old hefty off-roading machine. Something I really don't like to drive, actually. They're kind of fun to drive, but they're just so damn big and bulky and they're kind of slow. It's kind of like driving a one, like a mini tank. Which, a mini tank sounds like it would be fun, but... Honestly, it's just a big idiot piece of metal. Fittingly enough, after talking shit, this, these vehicles feel really perfect for this track right here. I'm not struggling to drive, just kind of maintaining the perfect line, not making too many mistakes. These just aren't difficult to drive, so that's helpful. Lap two looks like it got even more cloudier. That was like KJ. Shit, shit. That was dumb. That was a mistake. <laughs> Avoidable mistake, too. Someone's wrecked. They're just stuck on the map there. There we go. Must have got stuck. <laughs> Alright. Final lap. Already in first place. That's a good sign.
decent battle here. But you don't stand a chance, man. You don't stand a chance. Kidding me. You gotta be yanking me right here. You gotta be tugging my nuts. What the hell was that? That was dumb. That was fucking dumb. And what a stupid mistake. I had that in the bag. And just clipped the inside rock there. That's racing for you. Stupid mistakes will ruin an easy win. All right, three races to go. We're going to go to the Ultra Cross in China, I guess. Pre runners, that's good. Uh, pre runners there. Pre runners on all these, it looks. We're going to get some mileage into the GMC, that's for sure. Oh, is this a duel? Oh, come on now. So all these are going to be duels in the pre-runner, it looks like. we got Chevy versus GMC, which is basically the same thing. I forgot, the main campaign pretty much finished the same way, where it was two or three uh, 1v1 rip situations. The last three races are going to be the same here, where it's all just 1v1s. Except for on the main campaign, it kind of explained why you were doing 1v1s, because there was a guy who was just pretty much a jerk, and you needed him to lack a better term, fuck off, so you just beat him several times, 1v1 style, and sent his ass back home packing, and this one's really unclear, because there's no rivalry or anything, it's just kind of like, the final three races. seemed way longer than it should have been. This is a really, really twisty track. China has some of the best tracks, though, on this game, I will admit. Every, there's like two or three iterations from this location that's just really good. Like, if I was to make a top ten favorite tracks on this game, I bet you two or three of them would be from China. I just realized the guy's name I'm 
going against his bulldozer. Fresh out of prison. <laughs> At least three seconds behind me. 2.8 to be exact. Well, I just gotta watch my ass and make sure I don't hit anything. It'd be an easy W. Home stretch. Let's finish this and pick Bulldozer right back home. Unless he's my rival for the next two races, too. If the next race is it, it said sprint, so it could be with a sprint car. So we'll find out. Boom, that was another challenge. That's two coins. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right. Got him by a good, what, six seconds? Pretty even. Locked delivery, it looked like. Cool. Now let's do the sprint. Three runner race, New York, and on the ice, it looks like. Heavy snow, in the dark, Christmas lights are still out, even though it's almost March. <laughs> Going against Bulldozer again. Is this just as oval track? Oh man, this is... Literally just GMC versus Chevy. Burgenator versus Bulldozer. And I already have a hefty lead on him. Need I remind you that this is on very hard? I, you would think that this would be more of a... Oh, look at that. That's pretty neat. You would think that this would be more of a challenge. The bulldozer is getting fucking spanked! I really like the uh, pixelated Santa and reindeer flying around. That's pretty badass. Alright, more than halfway there. I'm almost on an entire half a lap in front of him. Definitely more than five seconds ahead of him. I'm surprised this wasn't in actual uh, sprint cars, to be honest. But at this point, I'm just hot lapping.
Boom. There you go. Race is finished in three minutes. I beat the shit out of Bulldozer. One more race to go, and we are done with the energy content hack. And so, yeah, for about 12 bucks, you get just a little over two hours worth of new campaign content. And, uh... Your four cars, you unlock liveries, and that that's just a little over two hours, but that's not including the throwdowns. Uh, you can listen to all the podcasts here now, all the little things from the main campaign, so you can listen to those now. The very last race we're going to do is here. Oh, look, we unlocked a livery, so I'm going to use it because that shit looks fucking wacky. I like it. The final race... And I already had four races completed before this stream started. So yeah, about two hours worth of shit. At Lion's Head, South Africa, Rally Raid. Bulldozer is about to get spanked. Oh, he's got a goofy livery on too. See, the Silverado has a better launch. But I think the GMC just has better overall capabilities. That was a clean pass. Beautiful sun on the horizon. Kind of blinding, but that's okay. It looks neat. That's all that matters, especially since it's a video game. Going downhill now. Uh, we'll go this way. Oh, that was a... Uh, oh, somehow not touching the wall there. Holy shit. I don't have a dent in my truck yet. But we're only 45% uh, into this hill climb. Oh, I just, as soon as I said it, I knew it was going to happen. Smack to the wall. Driver side quarter panel. Got some damage. Alright, we're halfway done with this race. Going up the hill. We're going to really see which truck is the better uh, hill climb now. Got to make sure I stay in a decent gear. Hand turn, kind of tight, but we're good. Going this way just felt more natural as I'm coming out of the turn. The Chevrolet went the other route. We are three quarters into this now. Coming into the home stretch. Oh, shit off the wall. Good to know that every time I go one way, that truck goes another. Oh, almost hit the rock there. That was close. Because that could have been bad. Definitely in the home stretch now as we finish this up and we are done with the 25 tracks that come with the pack, the Energy DLC. And uh, we did quite a bit of races in the GMC Sierra Pre-Runner. Very strong truck. I really like it. And that will do it for this stream. Thank you so much. I have five videos up on my channel right now. It's basically just gameplay footage of each car with, uh, with having a little commentary introduction. You get to listen to the car as it races around. I finish one race. And uh, that's it. I also have one other another uh, video talking about the playground the the junkyard playground dlc that was out and that's part of the free content that came out today and that's actually pretty cool so make sure you update your game get that free junkyard dlc content and uh, also check out the classic liveries that are part of the game 
So 64 out of 75 is not bad for me not even trying to get the coins. So that's pretty good, actually. And my first run on here without being a tryhard is 299 out of 375. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Thank you, everyone, for dropping by and wishing me a happy birthday. I may be back later on today to do a nice late birthday stream. And, of course, I have the rest of the week off. Got some shit to do around the house. I, I do have responsibilities, so I do need to get those done, but I do plan on streaming some more. So thank you all so much for joining me right here, right now. Stay tuned for for uh, more fun shit happening later. Thank you, and have a great day.